For over a decade and a half, Lionel Messi has produced moments of sheer magic that have enthralled viewers across the world. Messi's pedigree is hard, if not impossible, to match. But that hasn't stopped scouts and pundits from labeling many promising youngsters the next Messi. One can only imagine the pressure such hype places on these players. We've had the Iranian Messi, the German Messi, the Scottish Messi, the Algerian Messi, the Japanese Messi, and many more. Now say hello to the man dubbed the Turkish Messi, Arda Guler. Being compared to Argentine legend Lionel Messi is now a rite of passage for any young attacking player, especially those with a low center of gravity and superb dribbling skills, both of which the 18-year-old possesses. So far, nobody has lived up to the hype, certainly not the aforementioned Sardar Azmoun, Marco Marin, Ryo Miaichi, Amir Sayud, and Ryan Gauld. It begs the question, will Arda Guler be able to attain the Argentine legend status? Only time shall tell. However, there is genuine hope that the ludicrously talented Guler can become one of those to move beyond the tag and forge his own stellar path. One that has now led him to the league the man he is being compared to spectacularly tore up for much of his unparalleled career. In this video, we are going to reveal why Arda Guler has been regarded as the Turkish Messi, and if he will be able to live up to the level of fans' expectation. His ability to shift direction and initial turn of pace are electric. He is also versatile enough to operate in numerous attacking roles, although he favors cutting onto his left foot from the right and is a menace from set pieces. Stay tuned as we go on a journey of passion, perseverance, and rising beyond boundaries of a prodigious talent who emerged from humble beginnings to become a symbol of hope for an entire nation. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for video like this weekly. In the heart of Turkey, a young talent emerges, ready to leave an indelible mark on the world of football. Arda Guler was born on February 25, 2005, to mother, Serap Karaslan Guler, and father, Umit Guler, in Altindag, Turkey, and he is a naturalized Turkish citizen who practices Islam. Guler has received a lot of family support to succeed in his career. Moreover, Guler's family has been there for his every step. Arda Guler's journey began in the narrow streets of Istanbul, where he kicked his first football with determination and dreams of greatness. Raised in a working-class family, Arda's love for the game burned bright, even as he faced challenges and obstacles along the way. As a toddler, his father used to place balloons in front of him at his home in Ankara in an attempt to get Arda to kick them with his left foot. He was certainly given all the help he needed to become a footballer by his family, and his talents were spotted as early as his second year of primary school, when his physical education teacher suggested he join Genklerbirligi's academy. Genklerbirligi's training facilities were very far from their home. His parent took him there with his teacher's insistence, and he managed to show off his talents in the first training session, and was put in their team immediately. That team was actually made up of boys that were a year older than Arda, but he soon became captain as his supreme talents allowed him to stand out from the rest. His abilities were spotted by Fenerbahce in 2019 at an under-14s tournament hosted in Riva, around 50 kilometers outside of Istanbul, and the offer was soon made for him to make the 440 kilometers move to the Yellow Canaries. A boyhood Fener fan who idolized Alex D'Souza growing up, Arda jumped at the opportunity, and though he struggled with homesickness to begin with, his family followed him to Istanbul around six months later to help him settle properly. The 2020 enforced shutdown of football in the first half of 2020 delayed Arda's start to life at his new club. But once he was able to showcase his abilities, he was soon promoted from the under-17 squad to the under-19 ES. He enjoyed a superb campaign despite playing against opponents who were up to four years older than him, scoring 10 goals and laying on seven assists in just 22 appearances. Unsurprisingly, his form caught the eye of first-team coach Vitor Pereira, who invited the youngster to train with the first team after Arda signed his first professional contract in January 2021. It was not until August, though, 
that he would make his senior bow, coming off the bench for the final 24 minutes against HJK Helsinki in Europa League qualifying. Three days later, he marked his league debut against Antalya Spor with an assist. While the Messi and Ozil comparisons make for good headlines, perhaps the player Arda most resembles is ex-Real Madrid midfielder Guti. He is blessed with a maturity and possession that belies a player who only turned 18 in February, with his cultured left foot and vision ensuring that he is able to produce passes that others could only dream of making. A superb dribbler, as highlighted by the mazy run and assist he provides, and an assured finisher, it is clear by Arda's first touch and decision-making that he is able to process what he is going to do with the ball well before it reaches him. As the season has worn on, he has earned more and more opportunities to impress within the Fenerbahce first team and became the youngest goal scorer in the club's history when he volleyed in from close range against Alan Jasper in March. He backed that up by curling in a 20-yard effort against Kayserispor two games later. With the teenager having averaged a goal or assist every 45 minutes, he has been on the pitch during his first season of senior football. Amidst the quiet determination, a spark ignited within him. Day after day, he honed his skills, drawing inspiration from the legends who paved the way. The battle for Fenerbahce was to keep hold of their prized asset, who has a 30 million euros release clause within his contract. And for Arda, the question was always going to be whether Guler saw this summer as the right time to spread his wings as the time to test himself at a higher level. Arda Guler's exceptional performances at the domestic level soon earned him a call-up to the Turkish national team. Representing his country on the international stage, he became a beacon of hope for Turkish football, igniting the dreams of a nation starved for success. He celebrates scoring his first goal for Turkey in a Euro 2024 qualifier against Wales. The goal was a showcase for just how devastating he can be when allowed even a fraction of time and space from the right, with Wales's defense giving him all he needed to curl a superb 20-yard shot into the far top corner. Having made his international debut in a friendly win over Czech Republic seven months early, while not wishing to further court comparison, it is clear to see why a Barcelona side that missed out on re-signing Lionel Messi this summer would have been so keen to recruit a younger player in Guler, with the long-term capability to bring some of the qualities absent in their side since the Argentine left. He reacts quickly to his team losing possession and is definitely more willing to work off the ball than is the norm for a player of his talent and position. He can still be chaotic out of possession, but his role for club and country is high up the pitch instead of in front of the defense, where running around in a disorderly fashion can expose the back line. All of this encourages the notion Guler would suit a high-pressing side, especially in light of how much he's able to offer on the ball and his willingness to run without it. Is it any wonder then that so many teams around Europe look at the boy playing by the Bosphorus and consider him so right for them? Guler is young, still slight and far from the finished. It's believed he is just beginning. It was a breathtaking moment as Real Madrid announces the signing of the 18-year-old talent. In the vast world of football, there are legendary figures who transcend borders, inspiring millions with their skill and passion for the game. At Real, he may well find kinship among a growing group of lauded peers recruited, as what the club hopes will be a new iteration of Galacticos. Today, Arda Guler stands as a symbol of what can be achieved through unwavering passion and unwavering dedication, a testament to the power of dreams. While Guler's left foot is magical, he can thank his dad's balloons for that, his over-reliance on it can make him predictable. Physically, he is still developing too. It will be interesting to see how he deals with players getting physical with him in La Liga. As is the case with many younger players, there will also be doubts over his work off the ball. Fitting into a sophisticated pressing system could be a challenge. Let wait and see how he will perform in this new club. We hope he continue to raise and wish him all the best. Hope you enjoyed the biography of Arda Guler. Do subscribe, comment, share and like for more documentary on star players. Stay tuned.